Meow. Meow. Hi, it's Penny Bowden here, crazy cat artist. A cute little kitten again. Just getting those shapes in. And I'm going two and a half times the speed here. And voicing over. Just kind of feeling out where everything is to start with. I'm really liking how it's looking so far. How kitty's looking. I don't know what kitty's name is. Maybe you should give kitty a name and tell me in the comments. I love to hear from you, so please drop me a comment. Tell me about yourself or your cat or where you live in the world. Or whatever you want to tell me about. Just really feeling out carefully where that little nosy goes. Where the nosy goesy. Just a suggestion of that little mouth because we really don't see a whole lot of it and that's really a lot of what gives it that kitten look. I like that. Bring kitty alive here with some pupils. You really got to think about what's important in the drawing and what is just going to be background noise or too much foreground noise, which is worst. You notice I don't draw too much attention to the tips of the ears because I find that leads the eye right out of the drawing. little bib. I just kind of allow my lines to find their way around in a manner that fits in with the rhythm of the drawing. I like those little crisscross ears and that doesn't draw too much attention up towards the ears but I, ha I had a friend tell me that I had signature ears with those little crisscrosses. Maybe I got the mouth a little bit too much now. I need to fix that up. That's a little better. And I still did add mouth after I said we don't want too much with the mouth, but I kind of like it. I liked it the way before too. It's all experimental and learning. Carry all that learning forward to your next one. And that's how your cats get better and better. I'm going to slow down here while I put the whiskers on to normal speed. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.